Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the test suites in TestNG testing framework. So, uh, as we know that in the previous tutorial, we have seen how you can categorize your test cases within, you know, different groups uh, in order to, you know, execute the group of test cases whenever, uh, you know, it is required for that particular instance. Now, if you go to the Eclipse till now, what we have been doing is we have been going to a particular test case, opening it and then, you know, you clicking uh, run all or running uh, through just right click and run as in test ng test, right? Now, this is not possible for, you know, the actual scenarios when you are, you know, um, developing a framework and trying to run, you know, 500 of the different classes or test cases that uh, you will be writing as part of your project okay so for example here in this case i have you know four different uh, files or the test cases that that are there and within these you know test cases there are different methods and tests uh, that will be part of these particular class okay so if i have to execute you know uh, multiple uh, class or multiple test cases uh, uh, you know then i have to create a suite of test cases right and uh, that's where uh, testng xml comes in picture and how we'll utilize testng.xml to create different test suites that's what we are going to look into this tutorial so here if you see that um, in the testng documentation you will see testng.xml right and uh, we can invoke our you know testng test cases using you know with the testng file or from the command line etc now when it comes to testng.xml it's a you know very uh, handy tool to categorize or create the suite of test cases right so to create the suite of test cases say for example in this case i want to execute all these four you know uh, test cases that that are part of the ui package now i can't keep going through and running each one by one so i have to create a test suite to create a test suite uh, you simply can copy uh, this particular you know uh, xml that is available from here uh, and then update the you know class name that you want to include or uh, the test name the suite name etc and the classes or the simpler way is simply just right click on the package and then go to test ng and click on convert to test ng and it will do the same thing it will create the xml uh, file so you can see that uh, the location uh, of this file test ng.xml file is uh, will be get, uh, created automatically and then it will automatically include include the classes that you want to include as part of this particular testng.xml okay now let's just click on finish and you will see that testng.xml got created right so let me remove this uh, thread count uh, this is the advanced uh, topic i'll cover that later uh, so suite name and test name you can update that so for example this uh, suite of test cases is for the ui tests okay so i can name that as ui test and these ui tests are be, uh, be, say for example they are testing you know or they are part of the functional so functional testing okay so you can you know based on what uh, specific category these particular test cases lie you can specify the names accordingly and then uh, class name is already you know taken automatically from the package uh, from the package and the class name that you want to include right so now if i want to execute all these four test cases i can simply you know just say right click and then uh, uh, run as test ng suite so you can say that uh, now all these you know uh, four files will get executed okay and you will see the results okay so you'll see the execution has completed and third one it is verifying or it is uh, launching the third test case and then finally the fourth test case so in the right hand side if you see that you know this is the suite name so ui test uh, then the test name functional testing and then all the classes or the test cases below that the classes are being included and the methods below that being executed uh, automatically as part of that particular suite okay 
So now you don't have to go to each of these, you know, files manually and uh, keep executing these test cases. Now, say for example, you want to create separate, uh, you know, uh, test ng XML. So for example, you want to have a separate um, suite of uh, test cases only for regression, right? So as in the groups we have seen that you can categorize your methods or test cases uh, as regression. Same thing you can do with the uh, test ng xml and in the test ng xml you can specify which groups you want to include which include which groups you want to exclude as well so for example these two test cases are these two files um, i want to include as part of the regression right so, so just select those two and go to test ng and click on convert to test ng right and you can see that only these two uh, classes are being included or these two test cases are being included as part of that particular uh, test ng xml all right and now this test ng xml say for example this belongs to regression test cases or these two files are uh, the files or the test cases which are uh, which contain the regression test cases okay so i'll simply uh, click on regression so ideally uh, what we'll be doing is in terms of regression test cases we most of the time will be marking our test cases as regression or you know uh, with the group and then in the xml file we'll be specifying the groups accordingly okay so for example here uh, i'm just showing you that say for example this is only regression i'll remove the thread count and here i just want to say uh, regression suite okay and if i now run this particular um, uh, test so run as test ng suite only these two uh, test cases will be executed right and now say for example i want to so in this case you can see that login test and group test uh, demo test has been executed now say for example i want to have a master test ng uh, xml file which uh, invokes or executes all the test cases that are there in my project so for that you simply have to create another you know xml file so i can simply uh, go to test ng convert to test ng and uh, just uh, sorry it already exists so let me rename that and i'll say master test ng okay and in this particular file what we need to do is we simply need to include the suites that we have created okay so for example here we'll say the name as master suite okay and then below that we just have to include the file so instead of you know like the class or uh, test we simply have to remove all that and we just need to add the tag as suite files right and within this suite files we have to just specify the suite file that we want to include so simply add the tag suite hyphen file and specify the path of the file that you want to include right so here i want to include all the files or the regression file as well as the test ng xml which was the functional testing file so I'll simply say path uh, and then in the quote I'll specify the path. So because these files are in the project location, I can simply say dot slash and then I can specify test ng dot XML, right? And simply close the tag, all right? And then if you want to specify the other file as well, I can simply say sweet file and path to the next file which is basically uh, dot slash regression right so regression dot xml okay and then close the suite file so control shift f will format this particular file now with this master suite what will happen is whether it's you know like uh, whether you have created a file for the regression test cases or functional test cases or bvt or pvt if you want to execute all of your test cases uh, in the master suite you can specify that in the master suite 
uh, test file and you can run that particular master suite so i can simply say run as test ng suite and it will run both of these suite files and you will get the results accordingly all right so let's see all the execution is happening accordingly and we are getting the results as per expected so you can see um, ui tests functional testing so it has uh, executed the four test four test cases and then regression suite which is basically containing the other two files or the test files regression um, so regression suite if you open so it has login test and group test demo right so login test and group test demo got executed as part of the regression suite so this is about you know how you can create the test ng or uh, the test suites in test ng the other thing i want to cover as part of this test ng xml as well is basically how you can add the groups or exclude or include the groups that we have specified as regression or bvt etc right so if you scroll down to the documentation here uh, we have already seen how you can specify uh, the groups so let's go to the group section and uh, see um, the details so let me go to groups so test groups and here you can see that we can invoke or include the uh, groups accordingly right so we can simply we simply need to add the groups tag and then specify the groups that we want to execute as part of that xml so for example in this regression uh, you know xml i just want to execute only regression test cases or the, uh, the test cases that are re, uh, tagged as regression okay so what we need to do is we simply need to add this groups tag below the tests okay so simply copy that and outside of the classes i'll simply add this groups tag and include the name of the group that we have specified so i'll say regression okay now within these two test files so login test and group test demo because groups test demo has the groups that we have specified and the test cases if you see group test demo i've specified the groups as regression so the test cases that are grouped as regression so in this case three test cases should be should get executed successfully if we run this particular regression dot xml file okay so just right click um, right click on this particular file run as test ng suite and now it should execute only the test cases that are tagged as regression so you can see test 3 1 and 2 are being executed and if you see in this particular group test demo um, we have the groups 1 2 and test 3 are being part of this regression group okay and there is the other class that we have included login test right it doesn't have any group so for example for this particular test i add this to be part of the group regression as well so if i simply say group is equal to regression uh, sorry groups then this particular test case which is a test one from this uh, login test should get executed as well so if i just right click on the regression suite and click on run as and at this time instead of three test cases four test cases will be pulled and executed so you can see from the login test class a test one got executed and three tests from the group test demo which are tagged as regression group or regression test cases from these two files got executed so you can basically you know like include or exclude so there are a lot of other examples given on this particular documentation um, so here i have explained you how you can include the groups there are multiple other options so for example you can specify the wild characters um, so for example in this case you have the groups like windows dot check in test or linux dot check in test you can simply specify include name is equal to windows dot star and any group which is starting from windows dot will get included and executed as part of that particular execution uh, similarly you can you know use the exclude tag to exclude the groups that you don't want to be executed as part of that particular execution so pretty handy pretty easy 
to follow if you just go through these documentation and follow um, the series the tutorials that I'm um, you know posting uh, along with this documentation it will be really really easy to you know form your test suite and play around with test ng um, you know testing framework and master it for working in your actual automation project using selenium web driver so that's all about creating the test suites in test ng framework hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching